Question first for you. What is the biggest risk you took in your career that paid off? Well, I think the biggest risk I took in my career was leaving CNN. You know, I was a writer and a producer at CNN Business News, and I got a promotion actually um, to um, to senior producer morning shows. And at the time, I was on the assignment desk, so I would you know come up with story ideas, write scripts, and then someone else would go on air with them. But when I got the promotion, which was taking me off the assignment desk and putting me in the control room. It was taking me out of something that I loved and I knew I was good at. And when that happened, I realized I had hit ceilings at CNN Business News, that I basically had done every job that I wanted to do, and I had my dream job, and that was being on the assignment desk. And so when I got the promotion, I put a tape together. I went back and I looked at all the pieces that I had written for other people who were on air, and I asked my camera crew to shoot some stand-ups for me. And that was a big risk. Amazing. And when you think back and lessons for other women coming up, is it don't be afraid to take risks? Is it uh, know yourself before taking risks? What would you say the message is from your own experience about taking that risk? What I always tell young people, the three things that I followed throughout my career. Number one, work hard, incredibly hard. There are no shortcuts. It does not matter who you know, who your mother knows, your father knows, your cousins know. It's all about you. Number two, love what you do. Take money out of the equation as much as you can because ultimately, if you love what you do, the money will follow at some point if that's what you're after. And number three, do the right thing. There is only one thing that will follow you wherever you go and that is your reputation. That is great career advice, and like one of my questions that was coming up was what's the best career advice you would give to people? What's the best career advice you were given? When I was told about the move at CNN, I was very upset, and I went into the ladies' room and I was crying, and Kitty Pilgrim walked in, who was a woman that I respected. She said to me, Maria, now is the time to think about where you see yourself in five years. Think about what it is inside of you that gets you going in the morning. What do you love to do? And in five years, where would you like to see Maria Bartiromo? So it was at that moment when I thought to myself, hmm, in five years, I would love it if I could be on the air. I would like to be a reporter. And she said to me, then that's what you need to pursue now. And so that was the best advice anyone could have given me to think long term, to think what I really wanted to do with myself in five years. So much has been discussed, women and career. I wonder where you come down on or what you make of the debate surrounding Sheryl Sandberg and this Lean In, her book Lean In. Do you think women could be leaning in more to achieve more leadership positions in, in companies? I think Sheryl is terrific for bringing this to the forefront because we do need to have this conversation. But I would not criticize women in terms of saying, you don't lean in enough and, and, the, and the women's movement have stalled. I don't believe that. In fact, when you look right now at higher university, law school, medical school, you know, business school, the majority of those students are women. And the truth is women are soaring. Now, they are only holding 23 of the S&P 500 CEO spots. That is curious. Why is that? Is it the woman's fault? I don't think so. I think it's because boards are largely comprised of men, and men pick men. And so the people who are putting the, those people to work are men. So I don't necessarily blame women and a lack of work or a lack of enthusiasm and you know skill sets, because women are doing it, and women are soaring all over the world.